Okay, so I'm here to talk about building ice anchors. So first thing we're going to look at is a two-piece anchor, two screws. So in good ice, and this takes some assessment, but in good ice, two solid screws is acceptable. I'm going to start with my longest screw here, 21. Now keep in mind, I'm on the ground. <clears throat> So I'm not so worried about clipping in, but when I'm on a, on a multi-pitch route, once I've placed my first screw, I'll go ahead and clip into it to protect myself. Okay, so I've got my first screw in here. And uh, one thing I like to do is just clip myself in there so that I'm protected while I'm building the rest of the anchor. I'm still on belay. So for my second screw, um, <clears throat> I want to look and have a bit of offset. You know, if my, I don't want my screws just horizontal. If a fracture were to run through that zone, same thing with vertical. So a little bit of vertical and horizontal offset is good. And about 30 centimeters minimum. So I'm going to come down here. And for this anchor, I'm going to do the classic pre-equalized. Clip these in. Bring them down in my anticipated direction of pull. And I'm going to knot that off with a figure eight. So I'm going to clip myself into the master point here with the clove hitch. I can do that and then adjust this. And then I'll clip my blade device into the shelf so it's nice and high and makes it easier for me to belay. And that's our classic two-piece pre-equalized anchor. I'm going to join these together with a quad anchor. The quad's really nice because it gives us multiple clip-in points and it really helps with organization. So I'll double my quad length sling, clip that in, and then I'm going to tie a knot, just an overhand. I bring these down now and tie a second overhand. So with the quad, I can clip any two of the four strands. So I'm going to grab two of these. On a multi-pitch route, again, I'm hanging on as part of my security. And I'm going to clove hitch myself in with the rope. So in the event that I wasn't happy with my second screw, I'd go ahead and add a third screw. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. Again, I want good separation in this. So somewhere in this zone, I've got some offset and uh, good spacing between the screws. All right, so this one I like. <clears throat> I've already got the third, the other one in, so I'll just clip all three in this instance. Pull that down in my direction of pull. 
Let me go with an overhand there. I'm going to clove hitch myself off to the master point. Lock that. And that's our classic three-piece anchor.